Again with the learning, Thunderfoot did continue, and all about the DMCA he began to learn, and to his surprise, the DMCA could not be used to mute one's foes, but was a tool to protect real copyright problems which may arise. Turns out that a boy named Sean had committed a real legal transgression and not just some childish prank. He had violated free speech and tried to silence those he opposed, in the true form of a fascist, to be quite frank. This crime could not go unanswered or without justice, even though it was committed by a naive young boy. It would be public shame and eternal humiliation for him. That would serve as a warning that the DMCA is not a toy. So to the shock and awe of all those interested observers came a video called Venom Fang X Apologizes to the Internets, forced to read the words of Thunderfoot's legal team in public would be fit to relieve Sean of his debts. One would have thought that this would be the end of a boy named Sean, but not to be kept down and out. He charged forth with the holy word of God and the undying support of the frenzied and unabridged devout. Never one to back down from shameless self-promotion, a boy named Sean decided to start his own website. No longer would YouTube be the exclusive vehicle of Sean's preaching of peace and love and right. www.venomfangxsite.com was his new home, free from the prying eyes of Thunderfoot and DPR Jones. Here, a boy named Sean could delve even deeper into preaching God's word and casting his holy stones. Soon, though, a boy named Sean became very aware of certain worldly and material desires. He began to sell himself as a full-time evangelist, here to spread the good news, and searched for buyers. But the pesky little problem of taxes, he was soon reminded, by a man of the law called D.P.R. Jones. Mr. Jones, no relation, simply wanted to ensure that Caesar was given his due for all that he owns. Begging for money for himself in the name of a children's hospital was, as far as D.P.R. Jones knew, the absolute lowest of the lows. He made a touching and moving video called A Boy Named James, which I am not ashamed to admit, inspired these pros. So the Canadian Revenue Agency D.B.R. Jones did solicit to ensure that a boy named Sean would do what was right and render Caesar his due for undeclared income he had foregone. Soon, the news of the transgressions of a boy named Sean appeared on the doorstep of his parents, the atheist and a Jew. What the f- declared they, all of these shenanigans going on under my roof, this absolutely will not do. So parental privilege his parents did assert, and down came VenomFangXSite.com, and forced was a boy named Sean to honor the commands of his dad and his mom. One fine day in the month of May of 2009, a boy named Sean made and posted his last goodbye. He gave his channel to gear up, a man who could carry on because he was so smart and a real tough guy. For seven long months, the denizens of the mother-humpin' YouTubes were denied his masterful oration. But in December, he was back with a green screen leading us all to everlasting salvation. So what fabricated drama can we expect now from a boy named Sean? Perhaps he'll take a deep breath then form a prayer group and beg to God that his foes like Thunderfoot and DPR Jones meet a grisly death. One thing is for sure, if you thought a boy named Sean would go quietly into the night, you are mistaken. Do you really think that pointing out all of his lies and hypocrisy could, the faith of God's chosen, be shaken? But who is really to say? Sean begs to God for his most holy course to chart. I guess we won't really know till I get off my butt and of this poem, write the next part.